Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here, back in the wonderful province of British Columbia, baby. And I think I just found my new favorite thing. I made a new modification to the bug out truck and boy, I cannot wait to share it with you. It's this wonderful pop-up rooftop tent by the Smart Tent Company and boy, do I love it. It's seldom that I get a product that I get so excited about. This is one of those, so without further ado, Let's just get right to it. First, I gotta get down from here. Maybe I can jump. Parkour? I'm a little too old for that. I think I'll take the stairs. Guys, as you know, I've showed off all kinds of tents on this channel. From Russian tents, to Norwegian tents, to MSR tents, ultralight tents, carbon reflex tents that weigh one pound, but I've never used a rooftop tent. I've always scoffed at the idea. I've always attributed it to, you know, people who are maybe compensating for something, overland LARPers of sorts, but I finally realized how great these things are. In having this throughout my travels across Western Canada this summer. This thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, the amount of time you save in being able to just set up shop anywhere is incredible. All right, so I'm gonna show you how fast it is to set this thing up. Let's get to it. First, put down my step. Go like that, go like that, go like that. Jump up the air, go like that. <laughs> Ta-da! Compare that to the 30 minutes of wandering around looking for a place to put your tent. That is the selling point for a clamshell rooftop tent like this. Now let's talk about the specific unique features of this smart tent. It has a very heavy duty carrying capacity. So on top, you can actually mount additional rails so you can overlay your boats, your canoes, your kayaks, your extra gear, your max tracks, your recovery equipment, all that stuff. So you don't have to give up your rooftop storage with a tent like this, which is not the case with a lot of other roof racks. So we do have a heavy duty carrying capacity up to 175 pounds and when the wedge is flipped open you can still have 80 pounds on there so if you have a pelican case or if you have your max tracks on there they can stay on there while this thing is open the actual gas springs here are going to be able to support the weight up to a couple hundred pounds they also have these very quick and easy levered latches that open very quickly they're very easy to close and along the side you have this rail system that can receive all different types of accessories like led light kits awnings water tanks shower kits different cross rails you can mount extra gear you can do a whole lot with this type of hard shell smart tent so the hard shell of the tent is made of extreme aluminum for durability and puncture resistance. It's also a nice black powder coating which will resist the elements. So the actual tent material itself is made of a ripstop polyester cotton canvas. And this is actually a very interesting material because you're going to get that breathability, you're going to get that organic feel of canvas, but you're also getting that synthetic feel with the ripstop mesh. So even if I was to puncture this, the rip is not going to continue. You can see there is a grid of stronger fibers infused within the canvas from preventing a rip to continue. It also has a polyurethane coating. It's breathable and you get good rain resistance with a tent like this. The mattress is a high density EPS foam for comfort and mattress airflow. I really like the mattress because it feels as though it's gonna last a long time. It's very firm, but it's also a lot softer than the ground. And as a person who slept on all types of grounds over the years, I can honestly say that this is one of the biggest selling points of this for me. To have a flat, large surface area that is comfortable and soft is something that's hard to beat. It also includes a very convenient telescopic ladder, which is very easy to deploy and take down. There's weather stripping along all the seams in the inside. There's three entrances, which is also great. So you can have the latches either on the sides or on the back. Right now I have the ladder receiver mounts on both sides of the truck, so I can get in and out from both sides, depending on where you want your point of access. There's a nice cinch cord for seamless pack up. You're gonna have to do this a few times before you're able to mount 
master the quick takedown of the tent. There's a bit of stuffing that you have to do around the sides, but there's a very easy way to do it that I've found that really only takes a minute. So taking this thing down is nearly as quick as putting it up. There's generally three types of rooftop tents. There are soft shell. There is the wedge design like you see here, which I think is the number one design because of the ease of setup. And there's also the flat hard top design. That's arguably the most spacious. Let's first talk about the benefits of this kind of tent. Number one, as I've already demonstrated, lightning fast to set up. You don't have to walk around looking for a spot. I've done this on countless occasions. It takes a lot of time. Plus you're away from your vehicle, the closer you are, it's more secure sleeping up above the ground. You're not losing heat to the ground. There's a built-in mattress in there. It's also more well-constructed than most tents. You get a hard top, so you're getting a better heat retention. You get more airflow, you have multiple access points. And if you're in grizzly bear country, well, they just gotta work a little bit harder for that meal. Also with the hard top wedge version, you can actually mount stuff on top of it, like solar panels or additional types of gear. Let's talk about the downsides of a rooftop tent. Number one is going to be the price point. You absolutely are going to pay out the wazoo for one of these things. They range from $1,500 all the way up to $5,000. This one, I believe, is around $3,000 American, $4,200 Canadian. So it's a sizable investment. In my personal opinion, if I was doing a lot of traveling, if I was doing a lot of overlanding, it would be worth the investment, the amount of time that you're going to save, not having to find a spot, the consistency. One of the downsides is the weight factor. Now, I had an upgrade on this truck. I have HD heavy duty leaf springs that increase the payload of the truck and reduce the amount of squat. So it's not a huge issue. I've got this thing loaded down with probably a thousand extra pounds. Yes, it increases gas mileage, but guys, you don't buy a truck to save gas. If you're buying a truck and you're hoping to save gas, then you've already lost the battle. It does make the truck a little bit top heavy. The benefit of the smart tent, because it is so narrow, is that it's going to minimize that compared to other designs on the market that are taller and thus create more drag and go against your center of gravity. So you're a bit more wobbly on the turns out there. Of course, you are going to need a adequate mounting system Right now, this is mounted on top of an RSI smart cap. On top of that is a Prinsu roof rack. And then on top of that is the smart tent. So I got stuff stacked on stacked on stacked, racks on racks on racks, is that what they say? Now, one of the downsides, if you have dogs, ain't no way a dog getting up here. Quite frankly, if it's summertime, my dog ain't sleeping in the tent. Anyways, I know there's a lot of blue haired Karens out there that treat dogs like their children, but dogs are animals. Let them run free, let them do their thing. If it's absolutely essential that the dog has a place of refuge, he's going in the back of the truck. He certainly ain't climbing up these steps unless he's a pug or one of those other useless dogs that does nothing but consume resources. One of the other downsides of a tent like this, and I don't really view it as a downside, it's actually kind of a positive, is that where you set up your tent, that's pretty much where you gotta park your vehicle for an extended period of time until you're getting ready to take it down. However, because this is such a quick tent to set up and because it's a wedge design, you're not gonna be driving long distances, but if you need to reposition the truck for any reason, that's not a big deal with the wedge design. It is going to be a big deal with some of the other rooftop tents that extend laterally out, out to the side. Some people might say, well, I want to store my gear in the tent at the campground, and then I wanna be able to travel you know, throughout the day and do stuff. But why would you do that when you could have all your stuff securely in your vehicle all the time? It only takes a few minutes to load it up to the tent. What do you really need in the tent at night? Anyways, just the bare essentials. The other downside of a rooftop tent is having to get down to pee at night. Now, I'm not saying you should do this, but you could theoretically, if you are of the masculine persuasion, you could just open the zipper here and pee out the side of the tent. I'm not saying I did that several times throughout my trip, but I did that several times throughout my trip. You will do it too when it's four in the morning and there's freaking forest full of grizzly bears out there and you won't want to get your wee wee chewed off by a freaking thousand pound beast in the middle of the night. Well, maybe some of you do, 
but I certainly don't. The other downside is no wood stove in this tent, or it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to modify. There's not a whole lot of real estate in here, so if you do decide to somehow modify this to put a wood stove in, you're likely gonna be pumping that out the sides, and it's gonna be a very small wood stove. You might be able to heat something like this with a propane heater. In fact, you will definitely be able to do that. I'll probably end up uh, using some small a portable Mr. Heater system. They have some pretty good safety uh, mechanisms so that if it tips over, it automatically shuts down. There's adequate ventilation in here so you don't have to worry about poisoning yourself or anything like that. So you could foreseeably use this in winter time, but because you are off the ground and you do get a nice thick mattress, you got a lot of space up here. All right guys, so after using this tent, I can honestly say I really do love it. Two minute setup, two minute takedown, super easy, very streamlined, sleek, compact look to it, that clamshell makes things very easy. It's just a very durable, well-made tent. The gas springs are very strong. And of course, if you ever had any issues with these gas springs, you could easily replace them. This is a universal product. What I plan on doing in the future is mounting some solar panels up here. The possibilities are endless. They provide you a really cool webbing system in there. The ladder is so quick to deploy. Everything about this system is fast. Now, the only potential downside of this is that yes, you do indeed have to deploy it, unlike a camper van or something where you could just pass through your cab, go right into the back, sleep for a bit. However, the benefit of this is that you still get all the space in your truck, under your truck topper. So I have loads of space underneath here. I have my shelter. It really is the ideal setup. We slept in here, it got down to minus seven. It didn't even feel like it all in here. You have two people in here. The body heat will be retained by the mattress. That's one of the primary things. You're not losing heat to the ground. And there's enough foot space. At first, when you get in it, especially if you're six feet tall, you may have to sleep diagonal. Most people, when they sleep, they're not sleeping straight anyways. So it's not like you're stiff as a board, right? And you're, you're the full length of your body. Usually people bend their knees a little bit. The only other thing that might be a problem is the fact that this is a black top, okay? So it's gonna attract a lot of heat on those hot days. So for some people, they may want to change the color of this. You could paint it a different color. You could paint it white, that would reflect the light. That would help you out in the summer months, but it won't be that great in the winter months because of course in the winter you want black, it's gonna attract heat, but you don't want that in the summer. Overall, I'd say, man, I'm really, really liking this tent. It's exceeded my expectations by a lot. The takedown and setup is a lot quicker than I thought, especially the ladder. The ladder sets up literally in 10 seconds. All things to consider, guys, honestly, I love this smart tent. Pick one up, canadianpreparedness.com. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com, where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code PREPPINGGEAR for 10% off. Don't forget, the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.